Hello everyone. I told you this was coming. Yes. Today is the day I start my Free Space 2 playthrough. Just as promised. For those of you who don't know, this is the sequel, well, <laughs> of Free Space 1. Uh, a game that I just finished and um, that I have a, a playlist for in my channel. So if you want to check out that, that game, go for it. Uh, but uh, for now, for those of you who want to stay, uh, welcome once again. Uh, I'm going to cover probably maybe the first mission, maybe the first two missions of the game on this video. So if you're here, you probably are familiar with the game and you just want to watch someone else play it, which is cool. Thank you for that. Uh, if you're here for that, please subscribe to the channel. It, uh, it really helps out. Um, so, brief summary, it has been 32 years since the, um, the events of the last game, which culminated, as you probably remember, with the Shivan Super Destroyer, the Lucifer, being destroyed, funny, uh, on the way to the solar system while transiting subspace. So, the solar system and the Earth were saved but the Earth was cut off from the rest of the GTA, the, the rest of humanity's colonies and their new allies, the Vasutans. Uh, we're not playing on the side of the humans that went home and stayed home. No, we are on the, on the side where we are going to be one of the members of what... Uh, what is called the lost generation, those who are who were born uh, after contact with Earth was lost. So I'm gonna let the game tell the story. I won't be talking for too long in this. And you know, if you want, just want to skip to the missions, go right ahead. But I know I don't know about you, but I like science fiction. I've always did. Well, I like to look at spaceships. Spaceships are cool. Space battles are cool. No doubt about it. I love that part. But uh, the stories that it tells... Uh, the dreams of uh, a better or a more interesting future. That, that is what I'm here for. Anyway, let's go into the first command briefing, which provides some small intro of uh, where we're going to be flying. So, pay close attention. Alright, let's jump into the campaign and uh, see what new ships and weapons 32 years have yielded for us. This is Admiral Petrarch, commanding officer of the GTD Aquitaine. For those squadrons joining us here in Vega, welcome aboard. With a complement of 150 combat spacecraft, the Aquitaine serves as flagship of the GTVA 3rd Fleet, based in the Capella system. You join an elite crew of 10,000, the finest officers and enlisted personnel serving the Alliance today. After 18 months of fighting, Admiral Bosch's Neo-Terran front has become the most significant threat to regional security since the Great War ended 32 years ago. The NTF demands the independence of their systems and the revocation of the Beta Aquilae Convention, or BATAC. The BATAC Treaty centralized power in the GTVA as the supreme authority in Terran Vasudan space. Integral to NTF ideology is Bosch's vision of Neo Terra. A utopian society where the lost grandeur of Earth will be restored. Bosch and his followers oppose any alliance with the Vasudans as a threat to the future of the human race. The rebels are entrenched in Polaris, Regulus, and Sirius. But before we hit these strongholds, we must secure Epsilon Pegasi, Alpha Centauri, and Deneb. These contested systems are now the focal point of Allied operations. Allied Command has ordered the Aquitaine into the Deneb system. There, we will reinforce the 13 Vasudan battle group, led by the GVD Samtic. 
Both the NTF and the GTVA have sustained heavy casualties in the battle for Deneb. In the past 72 hours, we have lost the GVC Andromeda, the GTC Trafalgar, and over 15 fighter wings. Command anticipates the arrival of the Aquitaine and the Samtic will shift the battle for Deneb in our favor and force the NTF to withdraw to Sirius. All right, so uh, brief note to begin with. This game uh, was launched on the early era of, uh, of having Hollywood actors do voices for games. So this guy, uh, I don't remember his name, but I know his voice from Independence Day, you know, the movie uh, with the attack on Earth on the 4th of July and whatever. Yeah, uh, you go check it out. Uh, he was the the general in that movie. I, I know he's done other things, but that's where I I know him from. Anyway, back to the game itself. So, uh, yeah, the GTA has formally been reorganized uh, to bring the Vasudans alongside them, I suppose, uh, and is now the GTVA, the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance, which is um well. As the name implies, an alliance between the two species, and they have formalized, uh, form again with the word, made a de facto government of the uh, the known systems. Uh, but of course, some people were unhappy with that, and one of those people was uh, Admiral Bosch, the legend, um, and he decided to, you know, rebel and take a, a bunch of people with him. And he made the NTF, the Neo-Terran Front. And uh, obviously, the lesson here is uh, when people run out of enemies to kill, they start to kill each other. Uh, anyway, uh, enough about politics in sci-fi games. Let's jump into laser shooting. See, uh, I'm going to skip the training missions, obviously. Uh, not much point. This game plays a lot like the last one. And uh, it's still rather fresh in my memory, so... Alright, let's go. Welcome to Vega, Anson. I'm Captain Lukakis, squadron leader of the 53rd Hammerheads. You've been assigned to our unit. The Hammerheads are a space superiority squadron. We'll be flying the Myrmidon fighter, developed to replace the old GTF Ulysses. The Myrmidon is a Terran Vasudan design and a versatile ship with high marks for speed, maneuverability, armor, and loadout. The 53rd Hammerheads were formed during the Great War. At the time, we served on board the GTD Bastion, the finest ship in the history of Terran space travel. You may not know this, but the pilots who destroyed the SD Lucifer in 2335 were based on the Bastion, and some were even Hammerheads. With the 53rd, you're part of a long and proud tradition. When the explosion of the Lucifer collapsed the jump node to the Sol system and severed all contact with Earth, Command transferred the Bastion to the 4th Fleet in Vega. Since then, we've called Vega our home. Now Command has decommissioned the Bastion and reassigned its squadrons to the newer Hecate destroyers. We'll be joining the GTD Aquitaine, flagship of the 3rd Fleet, Capella. The Aquitaine will be here in 36 hours. In the meantime, it would be advisable to review your training. We have all the simulator modules you'll need for the Myrmidon fighter. These modules will give you a refresher course on such basics as your head-up display, throttle controls, and targeting. If you need to review your training, now would be a good time to do so. Because this is your first combat assignment, you'll be authorized to carry the standard armaments. The Subak HL-7, the Tempest Dumbfire, and the Rakai heat-seeking missile. These weapons are covered in the training modules and in the Tech Room database. As you gain experience in combat, you will be authorized to use more advanced weaponry. Good luck, pilot, and welcome again to the 53rd. This is Captain Lukakis, squadron leader of the 53rd Hammerheads. At 0320 hours, the Aquitaine entered the Deneb system. Admiral Petrarch launched fighter and bomber wings as part of an all-out attack against NTF positions throughout the system. He has kept the Hammerheads on standby until now. A situation is developing near the inhabited planet of Cygnus Prime. We have over 100,000 Vasudan refugees fleeing their colonies in transports. 
Allied ships are rescuing the Basutans as quickly as possible, though the logistics of this operation leave many refugees still vulnerable to rebel attack. At 0545, we received a distress signal from a refugee convoy 900 clicks, or kilometers, from the outer orbit of Cygnus Prime. The Vasudans responded with a wing of Serapis fighters, designated Epsilon, which have just called in for reinforcements. Alpha Wing, you're going in. Because these transports do not have jump drives, you must protect the convoy until a recovery ship arrives. With all warships engaged and other convoys in dire need of protection, we do not know when a craft will become available. Command will keep you updated and send in reinforcements as needed. All right, so that's it, our first briefing. Seems simple enough to uh, protect some transport ships carrying Vesudian refugees from the, the war zone. We're going to be flying the new, new as in not in the last game, uh, GTF Myrmidon, Space Superiority Fighter. It's a... Uh, it's a nice little ship. I, I, I am rather fond of it. We'll only be taking two fighters this time. Uh, the loadout is no point in changing it, so we only got the HL7 as a primary weapon, as the Akathon is an anti-subsystem weapon and not quite useful for this job. Alright, let's not talk anymore. Let's go shoot some ships. All right. Alpha 2 here. I have a visual on the convoy. 1500 meters dead ahead. The escort wing is down two fighters. Yep. Iota Transports. This is Alpha Wing of the 53rd Hammerheads, GTD Aquitaine. We have orders to protect your convoy. What's your status? Over. Alpha Wing, we have lost three transports to the rebel attack. The surviving vessels have sustained moderate damage. We anticipate the rebels will return in greater force. He is probably right. Hang in there, Iota. Command will send a recovery craft as soon as possible. All right, Alpha. Let's get to work. We must defend these transports until the recovery ship arrives. And here they are. Sensors picking up incoming hostiles. A wing of Herc's closing in. Yep. Using the I'll old venerable Hercules. All right. Gotta be quicker than that. More are jumping in already. Hostile configuration. So the NTF uses uh, mostly Great War era Terran fighters. So they are at a slight technological disadvantage. All right, calm down. There are going to be a few of these attacks too. Let's see if I can. You've seen better days. Okay. One more. Reading hostile indicators. Thanks, man. Can't give out order yet. You orders, I mean. I'm not. Oh, this wing has three fighters. Gotta be. Objective neutralized. All right. Man, one of the transports took some hits. Iota one. Okay. Gotta be a little, uh... Oh, whoa! Okay. There it is. I think... Are we done? Soon. The new class, of, uh, the GVD Samtic, as the, the man said in the briefing, is going to jump in, so we can see 
the new Vasudan destroyer. We have transmitted your coordinates to the GBD Samtic. The vessel should be exiting subspace momentarily. As I said, the GBD Samtic will jump in so you can see it in all its glory. It looks cool, doesn't it? Look at that. Of course, the point of this is to show off that the Alliance now has access to weapons that only the sheep The NTCV Belisarius, a Dimos class corvette, has run our blockade of the Sirius jump node. We are now tracking the vessel through subspace. We have vectored its course to your immediate vicinity. Missile banks depleted, calling in support. Let me put in. Acknowledged, command. We will intercept the target. Let's, uh. I think this angle is good to see the action that's going Incoming to jump signature. Yep. It's the Belisarius. Let's take a look at what happens now. Gunnery control, power up photon beam cannons. Commence plasma core insertion. All units stand clear of the Samtic and Belisarius. Yes, sir. Belisarius, this is the GVD Samtic. You are ordered to power down and surrender. You see, the Belisarius is also a new ship. Negative, Vasudan. The NTF is the only legitimate authority in this system. Yeah, that's going to end well for you. Will be destroyed, Belisarius. This is your final warning. Your posturing insults us both, Vasudan. I will not give up my ship. Yep. As you wish. Let's see. Gunnery control. Open fire. Yep. Belisarius objective has been neutralized. Yeah, I'd call it neutralized. So there we have it. The Alliance has beam weapons now. Just like the Lucifer. Alright. That's one mission down. Mission accomplished, Alpha. Return to base. All right. Well done, pilots. Thank you very much, sir. Jumping out. Good work, pilot. You held off the rebel attack and saved both Basudan transports from destruction. Your squad mates and I all agree, you'll make a fine addition to the 53rd Hammerheads. Command reports that 75% of the refugees have been recovered with few casualties. The remaining 25% are under Allied protection and will be rescued shortly. We've also won major victories against the NTF. The NTD Jacobus and the NTC Hengst have been destroyed, and our blockades of the Alpha Centauri and Sirius jump nodes has isolated the rebel fleet. Furthermore, 600,000 ground troops will soon land on the surface of Cygnus Prime in our effort to retake the planet. Prepare for your next mission, pilot. The battle for Deneb is not over yet. All right, so that went well. So I think we have time for one more, don't you? Uh, while the next mission loads, please remember, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Command has ordered the 53rd Hammerheads to secure an NTF depot in the Deneb asteroid belt. Six sentry guns are positioned around the depot, and rebel freighters are now moving the cargo out of the area. The NTF has gone through a lot of trouble to hide these materials. Alpha-1, your mission is to seek and destroy all targets of opportunity, including freighters, cargo, and sentry guns. Beta Wing will scan the cargo, Recon sighted a wing of Lokis guarding the depot, so ah. prioritize these bandits. Lokis. Do not underestimate the importance of this mission, pilot. A depot raid won't win you any medals, but it can be just as vital as taking down a cruiser or corvette. We must sever right, rebel supply right. lines if we want to achieve a decisive victory. Alright, so as the men said, time to not earn any medals. Um. Uh, the Loki there is a fighter that okay we're having a little more of a uh, company this mission is a fighter that was uh, designed during the GTI rebellion in the previous games ex expansion pack which I didn't li really play for the channel maybe one day but I, d I was really looking to to move on uh, all right let's uh, let's go destroy those containers 
couple of freighters, which... Okay, Alpha Wing, let's take out the fighters and freighters. Beta will scan the cargo. Watch those sentry guns. Beta Wing, target cargo units and close Whoa, the scan. Okay. Optimal distance is 150 meters. Alpha 1 and Alpha 3, you target the fighters. Stay focused on those locals. All right. Command, we've got a problem here. We can't scan the cargo. Run the diagnostic beta. Are your sensors malfunctioning? All right, time to take out those sentry guns. Negative. There's some kind of shielding on these units. Okay. Our sensors can't penetrate. Acknowledge beta. Support the scan and engage the enemy. Show us what about our recovery out? Negative beta. Command will not risk recovery in that asteroid. Jump signature. Hostile Whoa. configuration. Damn it. We're facing multiple bandits here. That cargo must be vital. Yeah, too bad. I've destroyed it all. Bonus objective. Maybe I should get a medal. Oh, whoa, whoa. Damn it. So much space. And not enough. So, all right. The board ship. Also, new bound. model. More Lokis. All right. What's that guy doing? Okay. Huh. Not very good at this, are you? Whoa. Okay then. Nice. Okay. Are we done? We have secured the depot command. All bandits have been neutralized. Alpha and Beta, stand by. By secured, you mean... Hold on, Alpha. Long-range sensors are picking up another hostile target three kilometers from your position. Okay. I'm reading nothing here, command. Where is We're it? We're detecting a faint EM signature from one of the asteroids. Okay. Transmitting coordinates now. Oh, that's not an asteroid. I'm still not getting a clear reading. There's too much interference. What is that? There should be a flashing red blip on the radar screen of your HUD. Maneuver your fighter until this blip is centered in the radar. This will point you in the right direction. Very helpful, Command. Thanks. It's a large asteroid, Command, with some kind of structure built into the surface. Oh, no. It isn't. Let's take a closer look. Proceed with caution, pilots. Let me pick up some speed. I wonder what that is. This is just for the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> I need high definition, full color. Command, the target has turrets and a fighter bay. It must be a rebel installation. We're scrambling I... bomber wings now. Destroy that base, pilots. Okay. This is Delta Wing. What's your status? Command, I'm picking up incoming hostiles. Engage and destroy those fighters. We need to clear a path for Delta Wing. All right. Turret is down. This is Admiral Bosch of the Neo Terran Front. Allied fighters, break off your attack. Oh man. Command, the rebel leader is on that base. What a surprise. That transmission, Alpha. Admiral Bosch is in the Polaris system. This must be a decoy. Oh, maybe not. If you destroy this installation, you sign the death warrant of our race. That's pretty I dramatic. And unfettered access to the serious jump node. There will be no negotiations, Bosch. Listen to me. If my safety is guaranteed, I'll withdraw my forces from Deneb. That's a confirmed kill. Oh. Pilots, destroy that installation. You have your orders. Can't resist, huh? Unfortunately. Enemy wing closing in. Oh. Oh, that's... Never mind. 
The good old is breaking apart, command. News the bomber. It's breaking apart. I wonder. Whoa, 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 that's a ship. That's not an asteroid. That's not an installation. Yes. Disable the engines of that warship. Do not let them escape. There's no time, Command. The vessel is powering up its subspace drive. There she goes. Alright. Time to pick up the stragglers. Damn. Bosch and his warship have jumped. Hmm. All hostile fighters have been neutralized, Command. This mission is over, Alpha. Return to base doesn't sound too happy. Maybe he just want us to end the war right here, right now. Alright, jumping out. Command has issued no official explanation for Admiral Bosch's presence in the Deneb system. The hidden base and the shielded cargo units only compound the mystery of the Admiral's agenda. Under the circumstances, there was nothing you could have done to stop the escape of Bosch's command frigate, designated the NTF Iceni. I know, I know. Intelligence has also learned the Neo-Terran Front is working on a secret project known only as ETAC, possibly a weapon of mass destruction. By destroying all cargo units in the depot, we disrupted Bosch's research. All right. So that is the second mission of Free Space 2 and the end of this video. Let's uh, see how quickly we can proceed through the, through the missions. But already there is a mystery uh, in the story, which I wonder what ETAC is. Is it actually a weapon of mass destruction? Who knows? You want to find out? Gotta watch the next videos, so subscribe to the channel and I will see you then.